There's really no bad time to start learning ballet. Sure, according to Chicago's Joffrey Ballet, children's ballet classes can start as early as two years old, with serious youth ballet programs running from age 8 to 18, where dancers spend seven days a week working on variations and point shoes. And sure, the National Ballet of Canada says that most professional dancers stop dancing between the ages of 35 and 40 due to injuries or tired bodies. And that's the point at which many retired dancers transition into different careers. But just because a former ballerina might gracefully transition from gracefully dancing across the stage to gracefully selling you a house, doesn't mean ballet is an expression of art that's only intended to be enjoyed by the young, like finger painting, drawing on one's face, or watching Star Wars. Yes, I know, plenty of adults seem to obsess over these weird little robots and fluorescent light bulb battles, but the star man himself has said that these movies are intended to be enjoyed by 12 year olds. So go turn on Meet the Press or something for once. And if you really need more George Lucas in your adult life, try streaming Howard the Duck. Anyway, as noted by ballet experts, ballet is an excellent all-in-one exercise that can improve core strength, balance, physical coordination, and cardio fitness. And just like that Golden Bachelor guy is reminding America that, hey, any hot tub installation man can still find broadcast quality love at the age of 72. Flex your toes and six and some boomers out in Minnesota are slipping into ballet shoes to prove that point. Or rather, slipping into point shoes to prove that ballet. No, I had it right the first time. Here we go. And Ben, stay down, stay down. Yeah, you're looking at footage out of Boomer Ballet Class. And it's called Boomer Ballet Class specifically because it's a ballet class for boomers that they know shouldn't be called Boomer Ballet Class. It's funny, Jill called it that right off the bat. And then she said, oh, we can't call it that. People won't come because they'll go, well, I'm not a boomer or whatever. And I said, you know, that's exactly why we should call it that. That's the director of the St. Paul Ballet, which is putting this on. And boomer ballet students like this one here are okay with being called a boomer. Okay, boomer? I own being a boomer, you know? I'm proud of being a boomer, so I think it's a great name. These boomer ballet classes are for students aged 55 to 85. Technically, some elder Gen Xers fall into this age category, but like most Gen Xers, they're being completely ignored. And this class has come about not just because it's never too late to learn a new skill, but because it's great for your body. We are realizing since the pandemic, we just have to keep moving. Flexibility, I mean, I'm learning how to move my body in ways that I either never knew how or have forgotten and stuff. Because when you're younger, your body just moves automatically. As noted by the St. Paul Ballet's website, Adult Boomer Ballet is based on the Royal Academy of Dance's Silver Swans program. And as noted by the Royal Academy of Dance's Silver Swans website, this program helps older people with their mobility, posture, and energy levels. The National Library of Medicine notes that about a quarter of your lifespan is determined by genetics, while the other 75% is determined by lifestyle factors. So doing less of this, less of this, and less of this, and doing more of this, more of this, and more of this, can help people attain a healthy old age. Two and out. Now in a class like this, designed for older learners of any skill level, this student notes that a lot of people in her class are coming at ballet without much experience. There were people who were starting out just like me, so I didn't feel as uncomfortable. Besides, our director here notes that students at this age aren't terribly concerned about keeping up appearances. When you get older, you don't care. The younger dancers are all worried about how they look and what their friends are thinking. Older dancers are like, I am here for me. Considering that the University of Michigan says that about one in three adults aged 50 to 80 felt isolated over the past year, taking a class like this is also a great opportunity for both the men and women lying around the floor here to spend time working on something new with other members of their community. Well, anyone who knows anything will help them feel more comfortable. We all gather outside of class before it starts and we all talk to each other. Just come and try it. You're never too old to learn something new.